2021 was an unforgettable year. We faced historic challenges and brought creativity and compassion to our work. Our eyes were fixed on the future, innovating to shape the future of healthcare. We found opportunity and challenge and made truly remarkable accomplishments. mRNA vaccine technology developed by our scientists, Katie Carrico and Drew Weissman, is helping us defeat a global pandemic. And there is no doubt that students training here today will make their own mark on our world for generations to come. From bringing COVID vaccines into our hardest hit communities to opening one of the most advanced hospitals in the world right here in Philadelphia. This was Penn Medicine in 2021. Millions of lives are now being saved because of their work. He worked on vaccines. She worked on messenger RNA. Everybody was skeptical, <laughs> but we didn't care. We just were amazed that, oh my God, this is what it means. We're here for your COVID vaccine today. One, two, three. That's it? That's it. Holy cow. Thank you very much for helping me out. Seeing the relief on people's faces is probably, in my 35 years, the most rewarding thing I've ever done. It's extra special for me as a black physician to make sure that they see me here. There's a difference when it's someone who looks like you that's administering the vaccine. It's a difference when someone that looks like you is telling you that it's safe. Penn Medicine has really been the only organization that came into service. My community, my family, my neighbors, and me. We're dedicated to saving individuals' lives. And one thing that we find is the saving of lives doesn't just happen within Penn Medicine or hospitals, but it stretches well beyond the university and the health system. It's our job to make them feel at home, in their home. And that's honestly the best part of this job. Their level of compassion and consideration, they took charge where most people ignored us. Most businesses don't do that. We've created a mobile mammography unit to meet women right where they are. Early detection saves lives. And that is what we are here to do. Ultrasound is something that in the hospital, residents are learning how to do this. And at Penn, we learn how to do it very early on. I went my whole life thinking I wasn't able to carry a child. Oh my God. It's like something out of a dream. I had two great pregnancies. So I just wanted to be able to give that to somebody else. This is like not real. <laughs> Six days after surgery, I did not have cancer. That brought me to my knees. That brought tears to my eyes. I'm grateful for Penn for taking a chance. Essentially granted me a miracle by choosing to do this for me. Lancaster General Health's Cancer Center has a new weapon in the fight against cancer. It is a 220 ton device called a cyclotron. We want to think of cancer as a speed bump, not a roadblock. Penn Medicine and Radnor has been designed with that in mind. This campus is more than just a hospital. And when we begin to build our communities, we have brighter futures. And the inspiration was how do we take care of our neighbors, of our family members, in the very best setting? And that is always closest to home. Welcome to the Pavilion! The pavilion is more than a building. It's a launching pad for amazing discoveries, for hope, for joy, and the future. I never could have imagined what it would be like to translate a vision on paper to a 3D living, breathing hospital. It's more than just about function. It's actually about creating. I wanted to do something that would be wondrous and also life-affirming. That's sort of the ambiguity of the piece. Penn Medicine celebrated the opening of its new hospital, the Pavilion, with a drone light show tonight. 300 drones lit up the sky last night. Now we have the most advanced hospital in the world, in Philadelphia, for decades to come. Our resolution for the year ahead is to redouble our commitment to excellence, to care, to service, and most importantly, to each other. To come together, look ahead, and make a difference every day. To the patients we care for, to our colleagues, friends, and neighbors. Here's wishing you a happy and healthy 2022.